Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Your beer is terrible, and uh, that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined enough. Tell us about your tavern. The inn? Well, it's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here, that's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Grave Keeps Cask? Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. Hello. How may I help you? What do you sell here? Mostly potions for heroic adventurers like yourselves. I also have recipes for customers who like to craft their own. And ingredients, too. Even rare flowers from the Badlands. Come back any time. I'm almost always open. Hello. How may I help you? Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. What do you have to sell? Everything you'll need for going out there into the Badlands. Food, ropes, torches, and of course, armor and weapons. I also have some other stock like remedies and antitoxins. That can come in handy. Ever heard of deep spiders? Are you Gorim? That's me, the one and only.
Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Are you Gorim? We should go. Oh. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Deputies, a word if you please. So famous already. I love it. You were in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No, but you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Caron not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. At least she's not another lady or something. Scavengers, eh? I never knew if they were legit or not. I'd rather visit the temple. Honestly. So, what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. You came. You picked our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the Council. In the marches, even in the Badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? You really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior deputy of the council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the Badlands, kill a bunch of orcs. Well, you're still a bit green, so let's say goblins. Ouch! You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's say... You find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields, too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Thanks so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things, Everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry it all anyway. Not in your little backpacks. Do you sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? 
in getting our people to KLM. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh. So this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure. Good luck out there. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. Perfect! Nice move. More! Ha! Ah! 
Nobody has your skills. Bravo! So that's Kara Lem. We're almost there. It's just up the hill. It's a little too quiet, don't you think? What's that smell? More caution next time. Coming your way.
You can take it. Too bad. Too slow. Don't lose hope! my friend.
Where did those goblins come from? Some hole in the mountain, I guess. Dive in the dirt, now! Damn, it stinks. We, we should be, be cautious, cautious from now on. Bleed! Well struck! Must have hurt. You cannot defeat me. I have a bad feeling about this. Where's the garrison? Dead or run away? Look! 
That tower? That's insane. Courtesy of the Cataclysm. The marches are full of stuff like this. The Badlands are worse. Anyway, we have a mission. Let's check the fortifications. There's definitely been fighting here. Why did we take this job again? Oh yeah, these lovely council badges. This is no time for jokes. Right. Whoever did this could still be around, and we don't want them hearing us. We should look for survivors. Fifty people can't just vanish. Did you see that? Someone's hiding inside the tower. It's a trap. The goblins killed everyone. And now it's our turn. Or they're the survivors, and they're being cautious. We need to get up to that door. If they slaughtered the garrison, they'll pay. Back off! No closer! Who's there? We're not letting you in! And we're not coming out! Is Captain Henrik there? We need to talk to him. Don't you dare speak his name, you filthy bastard! Don't talk to them! They'll cast a spell on you! Don't touch me! Is something not right in there, or is it just me? Let's get to the door. Maybe if they can see us up close, we can show them our council badges. What's this? I think it was a minor gate. At its height, the Manakalan Empire had countless gates like this to magically travel through the Empire. I don't suppose it still works. Some say there are still functioning gates. And this plaque? Any value? Maybe. The Tower of Knowledge? Why not? Stop! The trap! Another one bites the dust.
Surrender or die! You should have yielded. Wait, a trap. Attention requirement. They're here. You damn Sorax. Sorax? Did they say Sorax? You can't be serious. Sorax are a legend for scaring children. You bastards took the captain, but you won't take us. Don't talk to them. We're deputies of the Council, sent by Protector Lyra Keen. They do have Council badges. Sure, of course they do. Looted from whose corpse? Open the damn door, there are only four of them. No! I said no! Thank you for letting us in. Don't thank me. So, you really believe you were attacked by Sorax? Men-sized lizards who speak? Oh yeah, they're real. But we found no corpses, nothing. We know. They took all the bodies, ours and theirs, so no one can prove they exist. No proof. That's kind of awkward. You won't laugh when they come back. We got here without trouble. Then they let you in. And now you're trapped with us. Why would they do that? How should I know? They're Sorax. Are you in charge here? Lieutenant Beryl Stonebeard. Second in command. After Captain Henrik. We'd like to talk to everyone here, if that's all right. As long as you don't try anything clever, we're good.
Hey there. Hi. Name's Robar Sharp. Sounds like you're the most experienced here, Robar. Yeah. But I'm not in charge, mind you. This Lieutenant Stonebeard, is she up to the job? Clearly not. Look around. Losing the captain broke her. What do you think of Daliad? Never liked him. He's hiding something. He's been nervous since we came back from the Badlands. But it'd be no good picking a fight with him now. I understand. How about Lisbeth? You're her superior. Good woman. Strong, brave. You can trust her with a sword. That's worth something in my book. So what do you think we should do? For starters, not wait in here for the Sorax to come back and off us. But Stonebeard says stay, and she's an officer, so? Yeah, she's a stubborn one. And mutiny's a bad look on a soldier. You could talk to her. Deputy of the Council and all. So, if we find a way, you're with us? I'm with myself. But don't let that stop you. Now it's my turn, right? What do you mean? What is this? A murder investigation? Should we be investigating? Maybe. Speak up then. Well, let's say this all happened after a certain expedition. Go on. The scouts. They came back from a raid into the Badlands, found a ruin, came back with loot. The next day, this happens. Coincidence? You tell me. Only one of them's still alive. Daliat. So, who are you, friend? Daliat Sunbird, a scout. Do you believe they were Sorax? Dunno. Seemed real, though. What do you think they wanted? To kill us all. Not big on talk, eh? I'm having a pretty bad day. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna rest now. Is it me, or didn't he like that last question? Right. We need to make a decision here. The Sorax are real? Well, that's a lot to take in. They're either crazy or stupid. No use to us in either case. We have enough to make our report to the Council, so let's get going. If we don't help them, they'll either die or kill each other. Let them. Could be fun to watch. This place is a death trap. We should get out while we can. So, everyone has an opinion, but what are we gonna do? And what about Daliat? We got some pretty worrying hints about him. What if he really is hiding something important? If we accuse him, it might end in blood. That leaves us with the others. What's our strategy? Let's just get them together and discuss this. I'm not sure, but fine. Agreed. Can we talk? What now? You need to step down. Oh? And why is that? This command, this situation, is clearly too much for you. You think I'm happy to be in charge of this mess? We are relieving you of command, in the name of the Council. Fine. You get us out of this, deputies. Hey, what's that? Robar! Ah! 
Roba, no! I'm sorry. You. This is all your fault! Soldiers die. You should know that. Maraike will take his soul to peace. Don't be fooled. The Sorax are responsible, and many others will fall if we don't report to the Council. You people, just leave me alone! He came from here, look! What's this? A secret passage? From Imperial times. That was just a scout. More will be coming. They're here. They're coming back. Outside! We need to go. Take your stuff. Into the secret passage before it's too late. Sometimes there's simply no choice. We're all gonna die. Wait! Think they're Sorax? Who else? Right out of a fairy tale. As ugly as life. And certainly not lizard folk. We can surprise them. Can't we sneak around? From what I see, not a chance. All right. Tread lightly, and we all attack at once. You'll die like the rest. I don't 
believe it. Take it off. That's the way! <laughs> Run while you can! the knee or perish. No quarter given. Struck. Yeah.
till the next one. Can anyone read that? It's old Timarian. It looks like part of an Inquisitor's outfit. So that's from the tower up there. Maybe we're inside the tower. Is that gold? This is history. History all around us. Take it and let's move. The Sorax don't care about history, I'm sure. I'll have to tell the captain's wife. The Sorax can't be far away. We should be cautious from now on. That's impressive. <laughs> I underestimated you. My apologies. I will kill you! Perfect.
Again! Well struck! I thought you could fight! You've seen worse. Yeah! You can't win! Impressive! You'll surely prevail! I'm getting the measure of this. I win again!
I must do better. You're impressively fit. Uh. That's impressive. <sighs> Estimated you. My apologies. We're safe. We still have to go back to Kerr Kiflin. The road isn't far. We'll see you back in Kerr Kiflin, right? You'll be okay. Of course. Eh, sure. <laughs> 